Good morning, everybody. This is Rodney Govins, Democratic nominee, U.S. House District 1 here in Arkansas. And I uh, wanted to go ahead and start off by uh, giving a huge shout out to Moms Demand Action. Got the endorsement. And uh, that is an awesome organization. They do great work and they bring about a lot of awareness around gun safety um, and common sense, you know, gun reform. Uh, nobody, nobody talks about gun control, right? Gun control is some narrative that somebody put out there one time that everybody wants to latch on to. Nobody's trying to control uh, guns, right? Like you go out and get a gun. If you wanna, if you wanna own a weapon, you're 18 years old and you're a U.S. citizen. Go, go get one. No problem with that. No problem with that at all. Um, I would love for you to go through safety classes and certify and make sure that you know how to use one. I'd love for that to happen. Um, and our current laws don't don't have that, right? Um, and I think we need to have a conversation around that, around what our expectations are and around what we can do to help the situation that we currently live in, uh, where we have mass shootings and school shootings that happen so regularly we become numb to them. I've got kids. They go to public schools here in Cabot, Arkansas. And I'm going to tell you, um, when there is an active shooter drill, it's heartbreaking for me. I don't want my kids to ever have to go through something like that. Um, so practicing for it is heartbreaking for me. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't like it at all. And I don't think any parent uh, that I know likes it at all. It is a reality. And... Unfortunately, that's going to remain a reality until we can start having some hard conversations, right? We can go through the gambit. We can talk about the history of it, right? And somebody can sit here and talk about their misinterpretation of the Second Amendment. And I can talk about my interpretation of the Second Amendment. And then we can, you know, get angry at each other. We can scream at each other and nothing gets accomplished. We can talk about the way Australia did things. We can talk about the way Western Europe does things. We can talk about the way some of these dictatorship countries do things. And nothing's going to get accomplished. Everybody's going to walk away from the table mad. Or, or, we can start having some conversations. I am running on the Democratic ticket, but I've got some news. This is, and this is going to blow people's minds. I don't want to take anybody's guns. I'm not here for it. I want you to have your guns. I don't mind it. I don't mind responsible and safe gun ownership. They lock their weapons up. They account for their weapons and their ammunition all the time. They make sure that nobody can get to their stuff except for them. They don't have AR-15s just laying freely in the kitchen. That's all I'm asking. That's all I want. Because here's the kicker, right? As a Democrat, and I know all the narratives out there, I'm probably not supposed to own one of these, but I do. This is a Springfield XDM-40. I have one. I'll make no bones about it. I have one. I know how to use one. As a United States Army veteran, we had sidearms. And Springfield Armor XDs and XDMs were actually our weapon of choice. Um, the 9mm. But I like the XDM-40. Less kickback. Um, the 45 I would have preferred, but they didn't have one in stock at the time. So I just bought the 40. Um, it's, it's just as, it's just as well. I don't mind it at all. Just as accurate. Um, a little bit more compact, which is cool. And I typically keep that on my person. If I'm traveling, um, I'll keep it in my truck. If I'm traveling, especially in the area that I don't know. Um, and when I'm at home, I keep it locked up away from my kids, away from my family. I know where it is. And I know the code to get into the safe. Nobody else does. Nobody else needs to. I think it's time we start having some hard conversations. As a society, we have to we have to start having the conversation. What do we love more? Do we love our guns or do we love our kids? That is literally where we're at. So for me to get the endorsement from Moms Demand Action is humbling. It's exciting. But it also is a healthy reminder that we have a lot of work to do. Not only in Arkansas, but in this country. And I think that in a world where uncomfortable conversation 
is always something thing, people shy away from. I'm ready to start having them. And we can have uncomfortable conversations. And there's going to be times where we disagree. And that's okay. But what we have to do is we have to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Kids are getting shot at too high of a frequency in schools and in public places. And it's time that we do something about it. I hope you join me in this. I hope we can engage in this conversation. And I hope that working together, we can come up with some kind of solution. I don't have all the answers. I'm not claiming to. But I think working together, we can come up with a really good one. Help us out. Join us in this in this adventure. Join us for this uncomfortable conversation. I look forward to hearing from every single person. We'll talk to you later. This is Rodney Govins, Democratic nominee for U.S. House District here in Arkansas, U.S. House District 1. And I cannot wait to represent you in Washington, D.C.